Game two against Auburn, and it had been a long day, and it looks like you lose that game, and, and but you don't know what the replay is going to show, but what was it like waiting for that uh, thing? Well, you know, someone sent me some video of me standing there next to Coach Hobbs with just this look on my face. We truly believed that he was out. Opitz truly believed he was out. Because I've asked him before, and he's come back and going, I don't know. But he told me straight up, said, Coach, I got him. I tagged him. And I said, well, if you tagged him, he was out because your glove was on his arm. And uh, he tagged with one hand. He didn't go down with two. It was just a slap tag. And, uh, you know, when it, was, it was a little agony there. I mean, we don't want to lose. We've been playing, you know, for X amount of hours and all those innings, and we just we don't, we don't want to walk out of there 0-2. And uh, obviously it was, it was a big call. Uh, they had already had a little celebration, and now they had to come back and try to beat us, and we got them. And then you get the lead again and give it up again, and then have to, and then you win it again. Yeah, that that was amazing. We we punch in two runs, and then I think they get a leadoff hit and maybe a walk. And you know our guys are getting tired. Everybody's tired. Momentum starting to swing back in their dugout. Sure enough, we have a ball go through the catcher's legs, and you know he's it's one of the best catchers I've ever had. It's just it's fatigue. It's it's been a long day, and and things happen, and uh, they get a sack fly, and they tie it, and. Here we go again. But, you know, when, they, when our guys came in the dugout, we told them, hey, we're still alive, we're still playing. What else do we have to do? First time's 0 for 7 in that game. It comes up to that big hit to kind of get you guys going before he's out. Yeah, he was 0 for 7 and had some, some bats that he wished he could have back, swinging at pitches out of the zone, frustrated, trying to do too much. And uh, I give Coach Thompson a lot of credit. Uh, there was a couple times late in that game that he went up to Heston and, and made comments like, hey, you're going to get a big hit for us. You just stay strong, and you know we're going to. You're going to get it done. And and you know even the bat that he hit the home run at the top of the 15th, the the first pitch I think he fouled it off, and then he got a ball and he fouls another pitch off that was a ball, and then he fought his way back into the count, and the kid made a mistake and hung a slider and he hit it way out of the park. How much did the pitching on Sunday or Saturday? Did it surprise you that those guys came back out? And- yeah, they, first off, they they wanted to pitch. You know, Scroggins want you know he wanted to give us an inning, and Vermillion said he could go. You know, he threw like an inning the day before, but he didn't throw real well. And uh, you know, Wicklander, we just we were hoping to get really four out of him. We thought if we could get five out of him and be in the game or have a lead, that we'd have a shot to win it. And uh, he gave us four really good ones. The fifth what didn't start out good, but then he got out of it with no runs. Uh, and here we go. You know, we had a five-run lead after five, and we, we knew we were going to win the game. Now you got uh, ORU coming up, and uh, again, a midweek game, and we all just learned a lesson again last week about how important midweek games are because you got to win on the weekend, but you still want to win this thing. Yeah. What about ORU? Yeah, ORU, you know, you, you look at them this year, you know, they've, I think they're a little younger than normal or maybe less experienced. Uh, they still have some older kids, but uh, you know they beat some good teams. Um, they've struggled in league play. They're six and six, and normally they dominate their league a little bit. Um, but they also beat OU a couple weeks ago over in Norman. So anything can happen. Uh, we've got to pitch a little better. We've got to hit a little better. Uh, I mean, you know, you talk about last week on Tuesday. Nobody's really asked me about it, but I'll say it. I mean, Little Rock, they just whipped us. They played better than us. They pitched better than us. They hit better than us. And they fielded better than us, and they won the game. And uh, it's credit to them, and then they took that momentum and went on down to UTA and got after that series too. So I'm happy for for Curry and his guys. But uh, you know, I think I think it it, it showed that to the to the fans of, of this state that baseball is a game that you have to do things right. It doesn't matter what it says across the front of your jersey. You have to play good. Cowboy makes his return tomorrow. What's that going to be like having him come? <laughs> yeah, the last time I talked with Cowboy, as you call him, um, was. We, we actually got together and met after the semester's over, and I gave him his uh, uh, World Series ring. They had just come in. I'd called him, asked him if he's going to be in town, and he had to come back up here for something. So we met at Bob Stadium, and I just thanked him for, for the two years he was here and wished him the best over there, and we, we, we hugged, and that was that. And I just told him to go out and have fun, enjoy his last year of college baseball. Today, uh, Coach Musselman, I don't know what kind of conversation you had with him. I know you didn't meet with him. Yeah, I, I met met with him just a little while ago for the first time. We talked for a few minutes, and you know he's a he's a big baseball fan. That was good to hear. You know, he grew up in San Diego. He's from the San Diego area, and said he was a big Padres fan. And his sister was with him, and his wife. And sister told me she used to go to a lot of games. And when they lived in Florida with their family, she went to a lot of the spring training games. And uh, I don't know, it was just good. You know, I only talked to him about five minutes. A lot a lot of people wanting to talk with him, so I didn't want to 
you know, I need to let him go. But uh, first impression was really good.